Listen. We're in the Champions League. We're in the Champions League. Finishing top three. We're in the Champions League. Where's Liverpool? Not there. Where's Chelsea? Not there. Where's Spurs? Not there. Oh my God! You're not going blind. What's going on people, welcome to United View, welcome to the match preview for our game here at the Allianz Arena against Bayern Munich tomorrow with the press conference is finished. Um, we are just wrapping up here um, ahead of our game tomorrow, um, Eric Ten Hag facing the media. Listen, the chips are down, <laughs> yeah, the chips are down. We've seen the travelling squad, we've seen the depleted squad, we've seen all the injuries. Um, and we know what task is ahead of us. It's, it's very daunting, it is. Um, but I suppose you do, in the words of Josh, have to believe, you know what I mean? Because if you don't, then what's the point in turning up? But it's, make no mistake, this is going to be a very, very difficult game. Andre Onana um, was, was next to Eric Ten Hag as well. And I, don't, I think something's got to change. I mean, I don't know if Eric Ten Hag's going to go with the diamond. For me personally, we have to make sure that we're compact. We have to be compact, we have to be difficult to break down, we have to be difficult to run past, we have to be difficult to create chances against, and those are things against Brighton that were all non-existent. You know, we wasn't running hard enough, the, the gaps and distances were too big. When we did have the ball, we weren't looking after it long enough once Brighton worked us out, and that can't happen. Um, in this situation again it can't especially here with the players at Bayern Munich's disposal um, we, we have to be ready for it team selection wise look in terms of the injuries we know that there's no Mason Mount we know that there's no um, Varane it's difficult it's difficult you know that we haven't got any players coming back it's pretty much the same squad and that's what I mean and that's with the omission again of now Wan Bissaka he know we we know he can't play um, Harry Maguire even trained this morning he hasn't traveled I'm not saying he would have played but again you look at the bench there are very very limited options for us and it's about just getting through now that's not that's not to say there's a free pass here by the way because look the starting 11 that we put out will be strong-ish, you know, not compared to what it can be, but there's still going to be some good players on there. There's going to be some experienced players in there. And I'm not going to give us a free hit to say it's OK to come here and get stuffed 3-4-0 um, because that absolutely can't happen. There's not a free pass. You know, if you look at the Barcelona game last year, big occasion, albeit it was a Europa League tie, but it felt like a Champions League tie. We showed a little bit of character. We showed that we can go away from home and that was without Weghorst playing in the 10. You know, um, that we can have a little bit of character and put a good performance together. But obviously, the way that we've started this season, we're all scared. And, and I'm with you on that. You know, you saw my reaction to Brighton and then lead up to this. I was like, oh, I don't even want to come. I'm just scared from what's around the corner because if it's a humiliating loss, you go into that Burnley game and all of a sudden that becomes even harder to get a result out of and then the pressure just mounts. So, look, on any given day, you can come to Bayern Munich and you can not win. You know, they, they've won an awful lot of games here. I think it's a very long time since they've even lost a group stage game here um, at the Allianz Arena. And at the moment, we have to believe that we can do that. Otherwise, what's the point? Us as the fans, of course, me being here as a fan, um, I'm going to be nervous, of course, but the players cannot, cannot be like that. And like Ten Hag said in a press conference, against a team like Bayern Munich with the players that they've got, especially here at their home, we cannot be off it for one millisecond. We cannot be off it for one microsecond. You cannot make mistakes here. You just can't do it. And that's what scares me a little bit. That's what worries me. How, how can we put a good performance in? Can we make sure we're measured? Can we make sure that we're not making silly mistakes? We're not giving them you know, an inch so that they can take a mile. Because Bayern will do that. They will be ruthless. They have attacking players. The, the home crowd's going to be up. The atmosphere's going to be up. We have to make sure that we stifle them, you know? And I'm saying, I'm pretty sure for me, if we can just go 4-2-3-1, 4-2-3-1 or 4-5-1, whatever it is, I feel like there has to be width and there has to be a compact nature with us without the ball. 
you know, especially, especially in the first half, first half an hour, you know, make sure that, we're, that them spaces aren't too big. We can't have Leroy Sane, you know, having acres to run into with Coman's back starting again. I don't know. I know he's coming back from injury or Gnabry or Musiala. You know, he's come back from a long injury apart from the, from the first game, sorry, that they played. And he came back off the bench against Leverkusen. So he might start. We know what he's on. Do you know what I mean? We can't allow big spaces for these players to, 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 to hurt us. You know, and in, and, in the, and in the same time, we've got to play effective football. When we do get the ball in transition, we've got to make good decisions, critical decisions. How many times have we been in games this season and even in last season against opposition nowhere near as good as this but especially in the big games where we say well we played good for 30 minutes played good for 40 minutes in the first half we should have took our chances but we didn't chances are going to be scarce here at the Allianz Arena you're not going to get many so we have to be on it we have to be in a position where we're clinical you know we're not going to get that many chances so look defence as well defence wise look you're looking at there's no wan there's no Luke Shaw there's no Varane that's three out of our starting four. You know, Regulon's going to have to have a massive game. Dallow's going to have to have a massive game. Um, Martinez, he hasn't been at it. Massive game needed from him. Casemiro, I'm looking at him. Look, last season when we got Casemiro, yes, it was a Europa League, but we're looking at him saying, listen, five Champions Leagues, or whatever it's four, five Champions Leagues. This is what he's here to do. This is why he's here to, 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 to see us through these games. And he hasn't started the season well, but we need him to, to be a big part of what's going to be happening here in a very, very difficult game against Bayern München. So, look, we have to believe it's going to be difficult. The crowd's going to be up. The atmosphere's going to be insane. You've got Harry Kane to, to worry about as well. If you give him an inch, you'd definitely take a mile. But we have to believe. And do I think we're going to win? No comment. But the belief has to be there and we just can't embarrass ourselves and we have to be organised. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your predicted lineup would be. Let me know how you think we should set up and I'll see you tomorrow on match day. Peace.